Four people took the stand today, including the mother and grandmother of the victims who found her daughter's body in a pool of blood. Dolores Lowry at times became very emotional when testifying Monday about the murders of her daughter and granddaughter. I noticed that a lot of things was out of place. And that's when um, I saw the puddle of blood. 37-year-old Jawanti Harrington is on trial this week for the murders of 36-year-old Ella Lowry and her 8-year-old daughter, Ayana, in May of 2017 at their home in Bennettsville. Prosecutors played audio from Dolores Lowry's call to 911. It was hard for her to listen to that call. She told dispatchers Ayana was missing. Bennettsville Police Sergeant Bob Hale arrived first on scene he too searched for Ayana. We called out throughout the house, uh, didn't get an answer. Prosecutors told the judge they got a tip that led them to the McCall area where they found Ayana's body floating in a creek nine days after her mother was killed. They say Harrington was very familiar with the area. But their desperation leads to assumptions, mistakes. Harrington's lawyers say deputies charged the wrong man. Ella Lowry lived a lifestyle that was dangerous and led to a laundry list of suspects. But prosecutors say a cigarette butt found at the crime scene contained Harrington's DNA. They also say bloody shoe prints inside and outside the scene match the shoes and size of Harrington. Prosecutors tell me there are a number of reasons, including COVID, changes with defense attorneys and scheduling conflicts. Well, today, testimony finally got underway. 37-year-old Jawanti Harrington listened attentively and even took notes Thursday during testimony in his trial. Police say in May of 2017, he killed 36-year-old Ella Lowry. Officers say they found Ella in a pool of blood in her kitchen. Her eight-year-old daughter, Ayana, was missing. Nine days later, deputies found the child's body in a creek in the McCall area of Marlboro County. Three witnesses testified today ahead of Harrington's bench trial set for Monday due to scheduling conflicts. A radiologist and forensic scientist testified virtually. But if I see injuries, um, I'm going to document those with a photograph. A forensic pathologist who did the autopsies on Ella and Ayana testified in person. She told the judge how Ella died. I stated the cause of death as stab wounds of neck. However, the pathologist testified she never determined how Ayana died due to her body being so badly decomposed. It makes it more difficult to determine the cause of death. It's possible if there was, if there was a gunshot wound or a stab wound that resulted in this girl's death, I would have been able to find that because I'm doing an internal examination.